Black Ops 3 has no doubt changed a lot in the past year and a half that it's been out, and for some people that are still playing it daily, you might not remember some of the stuff that goes all the way back, that dates back to the first days of the launch, Black Ops 3's launch date. And one thing that I was looking at in particular were some of the camos. I was a little bit curious here earlier in the day, and I was like, I wonder if there's anything cool that we can take a look at within the camos of Black Ops 3, because there were a couple that were publicly detailed as being changed, some either subtly or some just downright complete changed. And one that definitely stood out from the crowd is one that you might remember, but might not. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the old Dark Matter camo versus the current Dark Matter camo, the coveted final camo in Black Ops 3, at the time, the toughest camo to get out of any Call of Duty title as that top tier camo, and it's changed about quite a bit. Now, currently, we know Dark Matter to be that vibrant camo that everybody loves to see. It looks appealing on basically every single weapon, and the patches that have been made to it definitely make this a lot nicer than it was. It's a two dimensional but also animated camo that makes for a very nice vibe with this but previously it wasn't so clean it wasn't so fluent and it was honestly pretty ugly looking on screen right now you'll be seeing some gameplay of dark matter camo on the vmp from around mid-november the patch if i'm not mistaken came out about a month to a month and a half afterwards and then there's been some subtleties changed here and there since then but the major bulk patch came right around that time about a month to a month and a half afterwards but you'll see in this gameplay you'll be able to tell that it's a lot clunkier it's almost like it has chunks on the dark matter camo itself it's not just a standard 2d fluent camo it looks looks clunky. It looks like it has, again, chunks of that camo built in. It's almost like a three-dimensional slime, if you want to put it that way, on it almost. Because it doesn't just conform to the canvas of the weapon, it kind of puts a layer on top of it. It does still have the purple and darker streaks here with it, but the newer version of Dark Matter also, though, has lighter hues of blue, lighter hues of purple, all that kind of stuff. It's just a lot more of a color range and a spectrum here with that, and it looks a lot better. But taking a look once again, back to the old version of Dark Matter. It's just not that appealing. And one of the definite reasons I think that it was changed about was because it did look so nasty, almost in a sense. It did look like it had another layer of something on top of the weapon. Again, probably the best thing I can compare that to is maybe like a layer of slime or a layer of goo or something like that, where it doesn't add too much on, but you can definitely tell that there's more added on top. But at the point in time, if it were not to be changed, I personally don't think that I would have necessarily gone for Dark Matter. Sure, it would have been something to have in your accolades is something that you've completed, so by basically completing every single camo challenge, you're in that tier that not many people at the time did, but of course it didn't really give you the greatest reward at that time. So that said, switching over to the new Dark Matter, I definitely think that this one is 100% worth the grind, not only, but definitely much better than it is now changed about as something that players who have gone for this, it's something definitely worth the grind. But once again, I just think it's so crazy to think about how much this has progressed since the game actually launched. The version that we saw, the old version we just showcased here in the video was from mid-November, so a couple of days to maybe a week to two weeks after the launch of Black Ops 3, when people were first just starting to get Dark Matter. That was something that was a much uglier version, I think, here of it. And of course, with the progressions made, it is worth the grind now, I believe, and it's just something that is at least able to be looked at. It's something that you want to sport off now to show that you've completed these challenges and it's worth it. Whereas previously, your gun probably looked a little bit uglier with it on. So, of course, it all comes down to personal opinion and personal preference, but I thought it was absolutely awesome looking back at old footage that I had seen that I've gathered over the year and a half or so since Black Ops 3 has been out. But I thought it was absolutely fascinating to take a look at where we came and just how far we came with Dark Matter. So, that said, that's going to wrap it up. Just wanted to showcase this here for you guys a little bit, show you guys a little bit of the drastic change that has happened to Dark Matter. So, of course, feel free to let me know down in their comments section down below. What do you think of it? Are you guys happy that it was changed about? Do you guys not necessarily care all that much? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. But thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss anything here for Black Ops 3, both zombies and multiplayer, zombies chronicles, zombies in general, Call of Duty World War 2, multiplayer and zombies, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically we live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.